Mm. No, I'm only on two. I'm only on two pills because fuck stool softeners. I'm not taking stool softeners. I don't need a stool softener. I got high blood pressure. I want pretty hot chick nurses to poke fun at me while I am on blood pressure pills. While my blood boils and builds up. I just want that because it's erotic and it is erousing. Arouse. It's going to just make me want to just explode my nuts all over that pretty hot nurse. The chicks and the nutritionists and the dietitians and all the ordinary average healthy females that want to degrade and poke fun at me and humiliate me and call me a loser and say ha 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 I'm going to be single forever. I think the one pill's working. Groin. Uh, moving forward. Leah for pepperoni. Leah, I'm gonna get the Papa John's cheese, um, the new, <coughs> new stuffed cheese. I'm gonna get the new stuffed cheese sticks from Papa John's. Leah, so stay tuned. I've got a lot of catching up to do. I'm also gonna do a tribute in the future for Mr. Rainer 009, so look forward to that too. And by the way, um, oh, I'm sick of not having no social life or fun. I texted Leah like seven, eight hours ago and said, there's a cat here that was meowing at me, and I was meowing back at him. She was like laughing out loud, because I was like, I have no social life, or fun. You know, I have no social life, guys. Why do you think I'm on here? By the way, John, um, uh, sauerkraut, he makes sauerkraut soup, sounds alright. Um, all about southern food, Cajun food, rice, and spicy, down south, Greece. <laughs> I wouldn't mind living in a trailer, actually. Move to the country. Fuck the city. Um, <coughs> also, I want to try bird dog bourbon. Have you ever heard of bird dog bourbon and fighting cock and chicken cock? I found out through Wicked Bruises channel about those. Next up, um, speaking of bourbon, what do you guys know about? Fitting to get itching. Mighty Lord. Mercy sakes, you know it's just pretty funny because um, um, I lost my train of thought. Fuck. Fuck. Shout out to duck hunting and hunting. I, I want to one day shoot a duck because I love duck meat, duck rocks. Um, actually, duck, deer, and rabbit. Duck, deer, and rabbit are on my top list. I love duck meat, but it's a delicacy. It's hard to come by. Well, it wakes up the senses. You know, I found out in the... Ah, it burns. Oh, it's a chest. I haven't drank like in four days. Almost four days I haven't had a drink. But it's Saturday night. Doesn't really matter what day it is, because life sucks. Um, you know what's really fucking fucked up though is I looked at on the news today and I found out that this ex-veteran was charged for putting up an American flag on a veteran's fence. What? Seventy-two years old, served from 1965 to 1967. I think I find that asinine and ridiculous. I mean, what's our country coming to? You, you get thrown in the Kuzgal for putting a flag, for pro proclamating America and standing for America, standing by her side. You get thrown in the Kuzgal. 
locked up. Throw away the keys. Really? Doesn't make much sense. I mean, it doesn't add up because look, this guy was an old. He was an old dude, and he was a, he served in our country, and he just by putting for standing what he believed in, he put a flag on a VA fence, and they want to give him six months to do time. Our country's fucked up, guys. Moving forward, um. Speaking back of John, John has his own set of problems. He wanted me to hang out with him earlier. Um, I'm like, well, I text him. He didn't text me back, and then I tried calling him. He was drunk, acting like a fool, acting clown, acting a fool. Like, I don't want no part of that junk. I don't want no part of that. If he wants to be like that, let him be like that, because I ain't got time for that, to play like that raggedy, petty crap. I don't, I don't have time for that shit. Let him do him, and I'll do me. I mean... Fuck, he's a, he's you know immature. He calls females flaky. He need, every time I call him up, he's talking about trying to meet sexy girls on dating sites on the internet. He paid money for. He's talking about trying to tell me he's trying to hook up with these chicks, and he's um, uh, telling me uh, he wants to hang out and be drunk and party. And he, then he he's he, speaking of flaky. He's flaky. Um, like I said, he has his own set of problems. To you, John. Um, wish you luck, dude. I hope you I hope you bang and fuck the girl of your dreams. <laughs> I think I like this almost like Wild Turkey. It's pretty decent. I haven't had Evan Williams. Oh, fuck. I haven't had Ev Evan Williams probably in over eight, nine years. By the way, speaking of my, I, I did say I'm the Muhammad Ali of the asphyxia fetish for good reason. I have bragging rights, braggers rights, because I've done, done done it for over 20 years, two decades counting, but I don't do it anymore. Yes, my neck has gone through a lot. You could even see the natural lines when I'm posing naturally. I have a red neck, because I'm a red neck. Shout out to Red Rooster, the wrestler. Shout out to Rowdy Rowdy Piper and Macho Man. Um, but going back to my fetish, asphyxia fetish, I to long story short, I I, I felt invincible and in intense high. I felt like no pain. Can you imagine? Here it is. You're cutting blood off to your brain. You're limiting oxygen in your body and you're struggling to breathe but yet you, towards when you feel the bust the time comes to bust a nut you feel no pain you feel invincible intense high at orgasm or climax and you fucking blow it fucking blow a nut from here to Chang Chang La I mean what's better than that I mean I, I, words can't even describe it I mean a high a, a high like none other that's why I was in the fetish for over 20 years, because chicks like to see me struggle and see how far I could take it. It goes. It it has to do with um, maso 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 sadism sadism, because I I like females that are saddest. Um. Here's the last topic I'm gonna talk about. This goes lifeguard lifeguard and southern logic. I respect you in your arena, the arena of the line of work that you have chosen, the medical arena, the medical industry, the medical world, pharmaceutical, medical, everything else, doctors, hospitals. I respect that. Despite the fact I don't partake in that kind of work, there's many things that I'm sure you guys are more knowledgeable than I am. Southern Logic and Lifeguard. I respect that. Because I know my own... My line of work, what I do is totally different from what you guys do. I get that. I respect that. 
But that said, do you realize my dad has three brothers that are both all doctors? One of them is a heart surgeon, one of them is a foot doctor, and one of them is a researcher of blood hematology. So you got a podiatrist, a cardiologist, and a hematology researcher at a major university. Granted, they're retired, and I think most of them are getting up there in age, but they're renowned and very, um, very, you know, um, how much time do I have left? Shit, it's 11 minutes, but they were very, um, what I want to say is they were highly successful in what they what they did in their careers. So I'm not one to bash the medical profession. After all, my dad had three brothers that were all doctors. So I'm not here to you know say what you guys what you what you heard lifeguard in Southern ain't ain't true. I mean because my dad's three brothers all have pretty nice wives and they were all pretty most of them were pretty hot looking. So. I take that back, guys. I mean, just because you're a doctor don't, don't mean... I mean, fuck my family physician I was with before I filed bankruptcy. I don't go to him anymore. But when I did go to him, he was like a flirt. He, he was flirted with all the females. He, he was a, like a player from the Himalaya. He, you know... I could have been a doctor. Fuck. I mean, shit. My brain, you know, is roasted. I, I can't... I could have been a doctor just because, you know, I'm just saying, mostly guys in dietetics, though, I'd say are more likely to be gay, dietitians, but not doctors. Peace.